Yung next example natin deals with the cantilever beam na nasolve natin sa double integration, area moment, saka conjugate beam method. Now, itong cantilever beams are medyo mahirap at first kasi meron tayong additional concept na we need to apply. And so, I'll first explain the concept. Notice na if I pick three points, let's just say dito sa support, and then ito yung second point, and then ito yung third point, itong distance na to from point 1 patungo sa point 2, that will be h1. Itong distance na to. And then from point 2 patungo dito sa point 3, that will be h3. Notice na if this is the way I will pick points, meron akong dalawang unknowns. Kasi merong height yung h1 and then meron ding height yung h3. However, itong dalawa hindi ko pwedeng ma-equate. Hindi kagaya nung first example natin na yung h3 is equal to h1. And so we were still able to form an equation that will give us what we want. However, dito, Anong talaga yung dalawa? And then different yung distances nila. And so useless lang yung points na to. Now sir, ano yung gagawin natin if we have a cantilever beam? Ito yung concept dyan. We need to add an imaginary span dito. And so itong pinakadulo ng imaginary span, we will label that as our point 1. And then yung second point natin will be dito sa fixed support. Next, yung third point natin is yung point where we want to get the deflection. So yung first question natin is to find the deflection at 2m from the fixed support. And so, nandito yan sa B. And so, yung third point ko will be dito. Now, yung horizontal distance from point 1 patungo sa point 2 will be our L1. However, if you think of it conceptually, this is just an imaginary span. And so, wala talaga yung length. And so, yung L1 natin is 0. Always yan na if you add an imaginary span, the length will be 0. Kasi non-existent naman talaga to. Next, yung L2 natin is yung horizontal distance from point 2 patungo sa point 3. So, ito na yan. Ito yung L2 natin, which is 2 meters. And then, we don't have an H1 because yung point 1 saka point 2 are along the same line. And so, what we have is only itong vertical distance from point 2 patungo sa point 3. Now, that is H3. And this is equal to the deflection at B or the deflection at 2M from the fixed support. And so yan na yung hahanapin natin. Again, let's identify our variables. Yung M1 natin is nandito sa point na to, sa imaginary span. And so yung M1 natin dyan is 0 kasi walang moment dito. Imaginary lang kasi. And then yung L1 natin is itong 0. Again, that's because imaginary yung span. Wala talaga yung length. Next, Yung M2 natin is yung moment dito. Now, we already have that, which is itong 24 KNM na counterclockwise. And so, that will be negative 24. Next, yung L2 natin is itong distance na to. And then, our M3 is the moment at this point. Now, we can consider from the left or from the right. Now, in order to follow our sign convention, let's just do it from the left. And so, the moment at point 3 will be negative 24 plus 8 times the moment arm na 2. And that will be negative 8. And then, sir, how about ito? Let's isolate L1 saka L2. Now, again, yung L1 natin is an imaginary span. And so, automatic na wala tayong area moment dyan. And so, yung 6A1 bar A1 over L1 will be equal to 0. Next, let's consider the second length. Let's just say ito yung L2 natin. Now, we will treat this span as a simply supported beam. And so, this will be A and this will be B. So, meron tong RA saka RB. However, notice na walang load sa span na to. And so, dito, wala tayong reactions for A saka B. That will be 0. And so, yung 6, A2 bar B2 over L2 will also be equal to 0. And so now, we can already solve for this one. Again, our H1 is 0. So M1 L1 will be 0 times 0 plus 2 times M2 times L1 plus L2 plus M3 na negative 8 times L2 which is 2. And that's equal to 6 EI over H1 na 0 over L1 na 0 plus H3 over L2 na 2. And so we can solve for H3. Let's just exclude itong mga merong 0. And so that will be 2 times negative 24 times 2 minus 8 times 2 equals 6 times ito yung ano natin divided by 2. Press shift solve. Makukuha mo na yung deflection. And so that will be negative 37.33. And then, meron yung kadugtong na KN M cubed over EI. And so, this is the same dito. Now, sir, how about for the second question? The same lang yung gagawin natin dito. We will add an imaginary span. However, we will move our point 3. Because we want to get the deflection dito sa C. Kasi nandyan yung maximum deflection. 
So yung point 3 natin, imo-move natin dito. Ito na yung point 3. And so yung H3 natin will be the vertical distance from 2 to 3. So ito na yan. This will be our new H3. Also, our L2 will change because yung second span natin is from 2 to 3. So extend natin to dito. And so now, our L2 will become 4 meters. And so this will also change. Itong first span natin is still the same because that's still the imaginary span. And so let's just redraw yung L2. We have a load dito na 4kn per m. Now again, this is our second span. So we will compute for the area moment about B. And so let's form the moment diagram by parts about B. And so ito yung point A natin and then ito yung B. Now don't be confused dito. Always talaga yan na for each span, we will label it as A saka B. And then dito rin. Hindi magmamatter yung original beam. And then hindi rin magmamatter yung original supports sa span. Because we will always treat our two spans as simply supported beams. And so meron tong RA. And then ito will be RB. Now, if we want to make the moment diagram by parts about dito sa B, we will only need to solve for RA. Kasi itong RB, hindi ito masasali. Kasi dyan yung moment center natin. And so let's project a line from B. And let's draw our zero line. Let's compute for RA. Let's take moments about B. RA times 4 minus yung resultant nito. Again, this is 2 meters. And this is also 2 meters. So meron tong resultant na 4 times 2, which is 8. And then yung moment arm niyan patungo dito sa B is equal to half ng 2, which is 1 meter. And so that will be minus 8 times 1 meter. Set natin yan to 0. And so let's solve for RA. Magiging 2. Now, let's form the moment diagram by parts about B. Kasi nandito na tayo sa second span. Dito sa first span, about A. Dito naman, about B tayo magmo-moment. And so, yung moment na makukause ng 2kn will increase patungo dito. And yung value niyan is 2 times yung moment arm na 4. And so, that will be 8. Now, again, hindi magmamatter kung saan yung moment center mo. Whether dito or dito. Basta sa second span, you will take moments about B. It's okay to have your moment center patungo dito sa A. Basta you will compute for the area moment always about B. But we are choosing B as our moment center kasi discontinuous yung load patungo dito sa A. Now, if ganito yung loading mo, paganyan, and then this is L2, it's difficult to have your moment center about B. Kasi this load is already discontinuous patungo sa B. And so, yung ideal na gagawin dito is to have your moment center dito sa A, but then you will still get the area moment patungo sa B. And so let's just continue. Let's extend a line dito. Now, the moment this will cause about dito sa B will be 8 times 1. And that will be second degree. So this will be negative 8. Now, in order to compute for A2 bar B2, we need to compute for the area moment of these areas patungo dito sa B. And so let's first start dito sa triangle. Yung area nyan is 1 half times base na 4 meters times height na 8 multiplied by the moment arm na one third ng four and then minus yung area nito which is one third times base na two meters times height na eight multiplied by the moment arm na one fourth ng base na two meters and so this will be one fourth of two and this is equal to 56 over three now itong value na to is still our a2 b2 we need to multiply that by six over l2 to get this one now copy lang natin to this will become 6 times A2B2, which is 56 over 3, over L2, which is nagbago na, naging 4 meters. So this will be 4. And so yung L2 natin dito will become 4. And then yung M3 natin magchi-change din. Kasi yung point 3 natin, nandito na sa free end. And so yung moment dyan will be 0. And so now, let's compute for this one. That will be 28. And so now, we already have all the values we need for this one. Yung M1 natin is 0. Yung L1 is 0, plus 2 times M2 na negative 24, multiplied by L1 plus L2, which is 0 plus 4. And then plus M3 na 0, times L2 na 4, plus itong value nito, which is 0, kasi that's still at our imaginary span. And then plus itong value na to, which is 28. And then that's equal to 6EI times H1, which is 0, over L1 na 0 plus H3 over L2 na 4. And so we can solve for H3. Ito na yung value dyan. 
And then, meron yung kadugtong na KNM cubed over EI. And so, the same lang to dito. So, just to recap, yung gagawin natin, if we have a cantilever beam, is to draw an imaginary span, and we will consider that as our first point. And then, yung second point natin, is nandito sa location ng fixed support. And then, yung point 3 natin, we will place that at any point of interest, kung saan natin gustong kunin yung deflection. 